Hello friends, this is Jeremy Wellborn and today I'm going to talk about the center of balance on the 2020 Corvette and specifically talk about how it relates to centering your load on or inside a trailer. A couple of weeks ago I took my 2020 Corvette down to Expel Dallas to have paint protection film installed on the front of the car and to also have window tint installed. You can see in this photo the areas that I was going to have that paint protection film installed. I knew that I needed to load the car into the trailer a little forward of where I normally would with my 2017 Grand Sport because the weight distribution on the 2020 Corvette is 60% over the rear axle and 40% over the front axle, whereas the weight distribution for the seventh generation Corvette is 50% over the rear axle and 50% over the front axle. So the weight distribution on the seventh generation Corvette is halfway between the front and rear axle. On the 2020 Corvette, we have a 60% weight distribution over the rear axle and a 40% weight distribution over the front axle, which means you've got to move that car more forward in the trailer than you were with a seventh generation Corvette. You can see that I got my 2020 Corvette inside the trailer and that I had moved it forward with regard to the position of the car over the two axles on the trailer. So instead of splitting those two axles, I was forward of that position to try to balance my load properly. I want to take a moment to show you where I install my T-hooks for my straps to hook onto. So if you take a look at this particular diagram, you can see where the lifting pucks will go for the jacking points. That is where I inserted my T-hooks, and this is what my T-hooks look like. So they go into those slots, they lock in place basically, and allow you to hook your toe straps directly to those to hold your car in place. I thought I had the car in the right position, so I closed the trailer up, started down the highway, hit the interstate, and noticed that I had a sway in my trailer that I needed to address. A little later, I stopped at a Bucky's and was able to move the car forward about six to eight more inches so that I could get it where I thought it was centered. In this picture, you can see where I moved the car to and hoped that that would make an improvement. And in looking at the next picture, you'll see exactly where the rear wheel lines up relative to the rear axle on the trailer, followed by the front wheel and how far forward it is relative to the front axle on the trailer. So I left Bucky's, went on down to Expel Dallas and had absolutely no trailer sway on the highway going to Expel from that point. I arrived at Expel and unloaded the car and had no problem loading or unloading the car with the front end scraping. I have an extended ramp and there was no issue unloading it or loading it. I don't even have the front end lift on my car. Expel Dallas did an amazing job. You can see the pictures here. The front end's got the Expel on it. The windows have been tinted. My buddy Ken Berg, Tweety is his nickname, uh, came down and brought his new Jeep, which he calls Pumpkins, because he wanted to get a picture of my Sebring Orange and his orange Jeep together. So we did that, and then we loaded the car back up into the trailer for the trip home. If you go back and look at the first part of the video, you'll see that I stopped the car at a certain point in the trailer that wasn't quite far enough forward. But if you look at the clip that you're looking at now and compare it, you'll see that I stopped several inches closer to the front. That being the case, I want to show you exactly where the center of balance is after doing calculations for the center of balance on the 2020 Corvette. There are a couple of different ways to calculate the center of balance, and I actually did it both ways just to double check and make sure that I was accurate and correct. The easiest way, of course, is to take the measurement between the front axle and the rear axle, which is 107.2 inches on the 2020 Corvette, and then to take 60% of that for your front axle to center of balance point and 40% of that to your rear axle to center point, giving you the exact center of balance on your Corvette. You can see in this photo and graphic that the center of balance is 43 inches ahead of the rear axle and 64 inches behind the front axle. Yes, there's 0.2 inches in there, but that's pretty much irrelevant when you're trying to center your car in the trailer. So when you load your 2020 Corvette into a trailer or on a trailer, make sure that you place the center of balance halfway between the front and the rear axles on the trailer. So again, put this center of balance point halfway between the front and rear axle in the trailer to center your balance. I hope this has been a helpful video for those of you who at some point need to trailer, but these cars aren't meant to be trailered, they're meant to be driven. So, go out there and enjoy the drive.